If you have any of the show it templates that comes from me, Designs by Josephine, your template comes with a page, a service page where you have all the information about it. Could be a, it could also be named a pricing page or investment page or that this is the page where you are presenting your service and pricing and what's included in your packages. But when you are a photographer, you are maybe or you have a lot of sessions you you offer. Uh, if you're a family photographer, for example, you maybe offer both maternity, newborn and family sessions uh, from a SEO perspective, but also a user friendly uh, as aspect. I highly recommend that you are duplicate this service page click on the dots and then duplicate it. So you have one page for each service. So you will have one for newborns, one for maternity and one for family and one for all the different sessions. Yeah, you get it. Uh, but to make it easier for your site visitors to navigate and find it, uh, a good thing is to create a drop down menu from uh, the site menu. So when they click on the service link, that will uh, a, a drop down will open up so they can choose if they want to proceed to the maternity or newborn or whatever they are interested in. So how to do this drop down menu is what I'm going to show you now. So we are going to start to go in to this specific canvas. Uh, and as you can see here, we have all the links in the menu. Uh, and we will start to add a canvas view and then move all the links into that canvas view. So now all links are placed in view one. We are then going to duplicate this. So now we have for the ease, for the, <laughs> so it'd be easier we can name it number two. So now we have all links in view one and view two. And now here, when we are in view two, we are going to add or drop down and we need to build that from scratch, but it's not difficult. So add a rectangle, pick your color you want to, you want, you want to use, and then you place it where you want the uh, drop down to appear. We're gonna have that at the bottom. We can have the text on it like that. And then we are going to add the, the links to the pages. So it could be maternity, like that. And we can make it uppercase, like that, maybe smaller. You can design this as you want. So we have maternity and we have one for newborn. Oh, born. Sorry, I'm not good at spelling. And we can make one for family. So you make uh, a text or a link for each page that you want to. Oh, sorry, maybe like that. Uh, and now we want, because if you look now, it makes more sense. View one, the drop down is not visible. In view two, it's there. So what we want to do here is when someone is clicking here at the service, we want view two to appear. And when they are looking at the drop down and clicking services, we want view one to be visible. So, uh, or that the drop down is disappearing. So now when we are in view one, we are clicking services and going on the click action. And here we are going to select the canvas and this canvas, because that's what we want to be shown when they are clicking there on the service link. And we also want view two to be visible. We can remove that one. Uh, so now when I click here, we have set, set the click action to view two to be visible. And then we go in under view two, <laughs> many views. <laughs> But this time we don't want view two to be visible because we want view one to be visible because we want the drop down to disappear. So we click here and then we are changing the click action to view number one. So, and also uh, as you have created uh, or you have duplicated the service page to each service that you have, 
you need to also update the links under here for to maternity you choose page and then select the maternity or the page you have created for that uh, session so if we go to the preview here and we scroll down and you click services here is a crop down so this is how you are doing it uh, you are uh, just creating two views duplicating the links and building the drop down and adding the right click actions so that's all and good luck